For years, Delaware was known as the chemical capital of America. And while the number of chemical firms in the state has declined in favor of credit card companies and banks, the state still has a high number of chemical producers for its small size. This week's first look explores what those companies and others are releasing into Delaware's environment. It started more than 200 years ago with the granddaddy of all chemical companies in Delaware, DuPont, which brought the world the wonderful world of chemistry as seen in this 1964 production from the New York World's Fair. Everything in the world, you know, is made up of molecules, and some of the most useful are those that form versatile plastics, like allothon, delrin, lucite, teflon. Here's what we mean. But the production of those wonderful chemicals, of course, almost always results in undesirable byproducts, sometimes toxic emissions into the air, water, and ground. Since 1987, the state has published a complete report on those emissions called the Toxics Release Inventory. The Toxics Release Inventory falls under the Emergency Planning and Community Right to Know Act, and it was really done to allow the public to understand what is in their community. As director of the State Division of Waste and Hazardous Substances, Marjorie Crofts keeps track of releases from facilities throughout Delaware. In 2015, releases to the air in Delaware dropped by 12%. But releases to water were up 32 percent, and releases to land were up 62 percent. By far, the biggest source of releases is the Delaware City Refinery, next to the Delaware River. The refinery was responsible for 73 percent of all releases in the state. And while the refinery has reduced its air emissions of sulfuric acid by 73,000 pounds, it increased emissions of nitrate compound to the Delaware River by 622,000 pounds. Getting it to a nitrate-based is much better than sending ammonia into the river. And so they've done a good, in that they've had increases means they're, they're decreasing their ammonia, which is a good thing. In a big water body like they put it into the Delaware River, the amount of nitrates, again, gets diluted. 90% of releases to water in Delaware go into the Delaware River, with those nitrate compounds making up the bulk at more than 3.7 million pounds. The 2015 report also shows a decrease in air releases for the state overall, mainly from the shutdown of Camor's Edgemore facility on the Delaware River. The decrease is better for health and the environment, but not for the 200 workers who used to work there. You got to balance that with the economy. And, you know, if you really see this go to zero, it's because we've lost the jobs in those areas. Uh, there is a certain amount of pollution that is going to be generated with any manufacturing company. It it's really comes down to how much can our water and air tolerate before it starts having negative impacts on public health. And while there have been improvements, Delaware still ranks sixth in the nation for most pounds released per square mile. Delaware has a higher concentration than maybe some of the much larger states with a lot larger open area than we do. But it, that said, we've also been able to reduce a lot of those and work with the companies to make that happen. You can find the complete Toxics Release Inventory Report online at denrec.delaware.gov. You can search by facility or by chemical to see what's being released in your area.